need some loving? I certainly did yesterday. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I live with depression and it's, it's now um, a part of me and my life. And um, I don't even like to say I struggle with depression. I, I live with it. I learn to live with it. And unless I talk about it, people don't know it or see it. Um, you know how every time when a celebrity who everyone thought was happy and had it all, all of a sudden commits suicide and then the whole world is shocked finding out that they were struggling with depression uh, because no one knew that prior to the accident. And, uh, well, I think what people with depression have in common is being good at hiding what is truly going on inside them. We internalize it. Sometimes even close family members have no idea. And at times we are dying inside and we barely function, but no one knows. And we, we can even go out pretending everything is fine. Um, I've been experiencing this um, ever since I watched uh, my father die. And I have developed a toolbox for myself. And I've developed a toolbox for myself by now, which helps me deal with the depressive episodes much quicker and more efficiently than in my 20s or in my 30s. And I made a video on this. Um, and uh, if you think you or anyone could benefit from it, uh, I leave the link below. Feel free to share. Uh, depression still comes and goes and the frequency and the depth of it depends on my life circumstances, what I'm going through and who I have around me. But since I've been living completely alone for three years now, uh, it has gotten harder to deal with at times. Even though I, I love being alone and, and I enjoy my own company as a true introvert, but I hardly remember going through anything like this while I was married. I guess the presence of another human emotionally, physically, you know, and their love in general was just a great medication. And love is a great healer. And since my divorce, I, I think I have had more depressive episodes than happy ones. And it has really pushed me to the edge at times. But as I said, I learned to manage it better. I hide it less. I talk about it more openly. And I even developed a connection with some friend, a cousin of mine and my mom where I actually do call them when I feel really lost. And um, they cannot help with my depression, but at least I don't feel that alone when I'm in that deep, dark hole. And, and that matters. And these last couple of days uh, have been really hard. Uh, it's been an emotional roller coaster, but not the loud one. It was more like a, sli a silent struggle, you know, wanting to stay afloat, but being unable to, to reach out my own hand and find something to, to grab or to hold on to. And, and I had to release someone important from my life um, on Monday, which was sort of like oil to the fire. And thanks for still watching this video with this insanely depressing intro. Um, so I, I wanted to bring something to you because something cool happened yesterday that I want to share with you. And if it brings you some joy and, and loving, uh, as it did to me, then it makes me feel better too. So it was extremely difficult to get out of bed in the morning. And um, I didn't actually get out of bed before noon, to be honest. And then I went to sit at my kitchen window, trying to soak up the beautiful sunshine we had uh, while doing my morning meditation. I've been doing this uh, morning meditation with my eyes open for a while now and I will make a separate video on that because it's a totally different experience with, with more physical and mystical sensations in and around your body. And my morning abundance meditation from my abundance package 2023, link below, is perfect for an open eye meditation, even though I didn't make it to be an open eye meditation, but it just, I, I think it works perfectly, not just for me, but for um, some other people who I asked to test it as well. And as I said, I will make another video about what is an open eye meditation and how to do it and how you can benefit from it. So while I was practicing uh, gratitude during the meditation, I chose to focus on that single snowdrop that decided to grow and bloom for me in my garden. Fun fact, there is no other sign of life anywhere in my garden right now. And I've only seen them grow in groups uh, before, but this one is just alone like me and it's and it's also my favorite flower and when I first spotted it I had to run outside just to check if it was real and it got me really emotional if I'd like a gift created for me by the universe and, and mother nature um, saying hey we love you 
so the sight and the thought of this little miracle in my garden really helped me generate the feeling of gratitude in me and that helped me carry on with my day and it kind of gave me uh, back my light and and then I decided to uh, to get more stimulated by the sun which we haven't had much of in the past couple of months living in Sweden so I decided to go for a walk while listening to my beautiful soothing daily whispers it's also from the abundance package 2023 link below and on the uh, on the way back I received a clear instruction and I call these downloads because um, I mainly received them through prayer or meditation in the form of a voice, a thought or a vision or an image. And this felt like a clear instruction from above telling me to go home, sit down in silence and do some heart focused breathing. So, and I, and I got like really specific instructions on how to do it. And I want to share it with you. So I was placing my attention at my heart chakra, heart area, while I was breathing. And with every inhale, I was feeling my heart getting filled with light and love. And with every exhale, I was feeling this pulsating energy radiating from my heart to the space around me. And I would feel this loving energy expanding with, with every exhale, like if I was trying to send out this vibration of love. And the teaching that comes to my mind is whatever you want more of, become it. Want more love? Become love. Radiate love. Be the source of love in the life of others. And, and you have access to this infinite, unlimited amount of love. You just need to allow it to flow to you. It's not something you can run out of because there's an abundance of it. Actually, the more you radiate it, the more you are sending it out, the more will flow to you like attracts like. If you become a vibration of actually love, if you become love itself, then more love will find you. I know I needed love, so I tuned into its vibration and I was inhaling and exhaling love. Now, how do you tune into love when you feel unloved? By having the intention, by thinking of a person or an object or an accomplishment or a meeting or an event or anything that brings you joy, something that warms your heart from your past or you could just use your imagination and make something up because you are the creator. So while I was doing this heart focused breathing, I felt this incredibly peaceful, soothing sensation. And then little miracles started happening throughout the day. Uh, yesterday was the last day of the 21 Days Abundance Challenge with a group of 21 people, including myself, and we said an emotional goodbye to each other, but we will probably still stay in touch with each other. I will make a separate video on all the incredible things that happened in that group. And and basically these, these people are just so magical and the vibe in the group was inspirational and uplifting. And I received so much love from them yesterday that I just teared up. And, and then all of a sudden, one of my ex, who I haven't spoken to in years, decided to call me and was going on about what an amazing person he thinks I am and how caring and loving I am. And he gave me a long list of compliments without asking for anything in return. And I don't know, I guess he just wanted to reach out and check up on me. And, and I really needed that. And um, I found it difficult to hold it together. Uh, while I was listening to him. And then this girl, Brittany Whitkin from the US, emailed me that she just published a podcast episode on Apple and Spotify that she recorded with me end of last year. And I listened to it. And the way she was introducing me in the beginning was, it was just too much. Like, I couldn't believe that she was actually talking about me. And Brittany is, is, is so lovely to listen to, even when she's not praising me. She's just a perfect host, you know, and, and she's totally engaged in the conversation. She, she's very prepared and she's really good with words, unlike me. And well, I think I was talking a bit too fast um, in, in the whole interview or, or podcast, but that's out of pure excitement. Uh, anyways, go and check it out. It's about 45 minutes long and I think you will find it inspiring. Link below. And then in the evening, I received a comment on my previous video from someone saying how much they liked it and they also complimented my hairstyle. And after I replied, thank you so much, 
they wrote again saying, thank you for all the content you're sharing here without any doubt. Um, you have a positive influence on people's lives and bless you. Um, now this person didn't have to say all that, but they felt the need to and, and it all arrived when I needed it the most. So thank you again. And, and then I received a, a beautiful review on my infinite abundance meditation in my Etsy store. I've received many beautiful ones before. Uh, I can actually leave a link and you can go and check it out yourself. You might feel inspired to purchase it yourself too. And I'm not blowing my own horn. I'm just telling you all the miracles that I believe my heart-focused breathing uh, brought to me, to my reality. And, and I'm just expressing my gratitude. So if you, if you feel you are in need of more love in your life, um, and you may also happen to be alone and have no one to hug or connect with, um, or tell you beautiful things about you, then I recommend you try this heart-focused breathing. It's free, and let me know how it went. Oh, and you know what? How about sending someone a text right now and uh, telling them that you love them? Be the source of love in the life of others. Do it, do it now. And, and if you use any self-tanning oil or cream, wash your hands properly after. Don't be like me. Anyway, like, share, subscribe because it costs you nothing but it helps me grow this channel. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.